Breaking news from Auburn Hills, where a Michigan State police cruiser has been involved in a crash. And it's not clear if anyone was hurt. 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson is live from the scene. Jen, what have you found out? Well, I do have several calls that I've placed. I haven't yet heard whether or not there have been any injuries, but I want you to take a look at the vehicles that were in the crash. We see two vehicles on the road, and again, I'm at North I-75, just north of Jocelyn. You can see a uh, Michigan State Trooper vehicle that has a lot of rear-end damage. The airbags all deployed. Not far from that Trooper vehicle, you see a white SUV of some sort that has extensive front end damage. So while we aren't sure of the conditions of the people inside those vehicles, man, it's hard to imagine that there weren't any injuries. It's just wondering how bad were they? Uh, it's also interesting. We see a canoe or what appears to be a canoe on the side of the road. Uh, I have placed several calls to try to get more information about exactly what took place here, but we do understand so far that the trooper was inside the vehicle at the time of this impact. There was an ambulance on scene when we first arrived, but I haven't seen any victims not in their car, not walking around. Uh, that ambulance is now gone. There are still investigators though that are taking some measurements trying to figure out more about exactly what happened and as soon as I have more details I'll definitely let you know reporting live here along I-75 northbound and once again as Anne-Marie mentioned these northbound lanes are closed right now they're going to get you off at Jocelyn um, heading north on I-75 while the investigators continue to work reporting live here I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson 7 Action News and Jennifer Ann we don't know if that kayak that you showed briefly there had anything to do with this accident we don't. We don't. We just happen to notice it on the side of the road right near the crash, right near those uh, two vehicles which have that extensive damage. And we see, you can actually see there's some people on the road there with vests and flashlights. They seem to be examining the scene, perhaps looking for skid marks or uh, maybe picking up some pieces that they're finding on the side of the road to try to figure out exactly what might have caused it. At this point, though, we don't know whether that canoe had anything to do with it. Jennifer Ann Wilson reporting live. Thanks, Jen.